hello! Welcome back to Vicky 3! Uh, the last game didn't go so well with uh, Texas. Uh, <laughs> what was it? We ended with uh, going down in like a blaze of glory. We went bankrupt uh, and completely defeated uh, by the Americans. Uh, but yeah, but it, it was a it was a lot of fun playing Vicky 3 again. So I'm gonna start doing this more of a regular thing of um, uh, like just chilling and play like not like uh, playing like to win or like well, how do you call it like World Conquest like big goals like that just fun goals like I used to do uh, back in Paradox. So like. Um, for this playthrough, I want to play as Paraguay and be a Hermit Kingdom. Basically become successful while staying isolationist. Uh, I don't know how well that's gonna go, but we'll see. Uh, it means I can use all of my bureaucracy on a lot of internal stuff and ignore trade, I guess. Uh, we are landlocked, I think everyone hates me at the start, so yeah. <laughs> uh, there's the game. Yeah, so this is gonna be a recurring thing. Like, I'm just gonna call it on, like, you're gonna be watching this on YouTube as well. I'm just gonna call this strategy and chill. Uh, have a glass of whiskey and enjoy conquering people in Paradox games, I guess. Or whatever, like, fun concept I can come up with. 5D chess, as we used to say. Uh, you know, in, in, in a game about international trade and international institutions being established, uh, and international powers, ignoring the entire international part. That's that's how you win at the game, right? So yeah, uh, I don't think we're gonna do anything else. Paraguay does start kind of badly off at the start, but we should be able to make something out of it. Oh yeah, also let's double check that I actually started capturing. Yes, I did. Cool. Uh, so yeah, so. First, uh, we don't even start with, let's see, where are you? We don't even have stock exchange. We don't even start with that. Like we start pretty far behind. We don't need stock exchange. We're not gonna have trade routes. Uh, the only market we're gonna have is gonna be our own. Uh, so like, I think for starters, what we need to focus on is more like just internal production. Uh, so if we have, I think though, at start, we, like, we are pretty well off. Like, the only things we're missing are, like, these things, but we, we should be able to produce that. So if we do, uh, uh, so we have textile mills, right? So dye workshops, takes, dye and fabric, we have both. So yeah, I think this could be a good start. Um, do we have anything else? Like nationalism? Uh, do, 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 do. Yeah, let's start. Let's start with that. Laith. 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 Uh, there. So we start with you. Uh, and then we do have, like, we have, like, a penalty here. We have the Puragues. Uh, plus 100%, uh, 200% intelligentsia political strength. Not that problematic, uh, but we do have the minus 40% enactment success chance, which kind of means we can modify any laws, as far as I've seen. I guess the only thing that would allow us to change it is if we have, like, intelligentsia completely dominate our uh, politics. Uh, but yeah. Perpetual dict dictator Jose Gaspar Rodriguez de Francia. Uh, <laughs> So I guess, like, you know, instead of supreme, supreme, oh, what, 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 oh, what is the North Korea? I mean, we're going to be North Korea of South America, basically, right? But successful. Um, what, what's now, uh, what's uh, Kim Il-jong's uh, title? Chat. Oh, he even got dice. Yeah, of course I do. And yeah, I only have, uh, yeah, intelligentsia. I can... I can reform it to... Because I'm a dictator, right? So it doesn't cost me anything. Um, but yeah. This would just be worse. So I think I'm just gonna stay with Intelligentsia, I guess. Uh, unacceptable government. Your government has 49 legitimacy, which makes it unacceptable government. Uh, okay, so I do kind of need to raise it. 
Uh, who have similar policies? I don't think anyone does. Right? Yeah, there's not gonna be anyone... That works. Oh yeah, definitely not the Catholic Church. Industrialist? No. Uh, landowners? No. I mean, so the only one we fit with is rule for, but that will only make things worse. Uh, I guess what we can do... No, we want to uh, here. We can bolster you and hopefully that will make them get over eventually. Eternal President of the Republic. Yes, exactly. We're gonna get there. Hello, Pukovia. Try exiling the landowner leader. Maybe you're all for a good leader. Ooh. No, but I don't think landowners and... and liberals are gonna... Like, the intelligentsia is gonna work, right? Anti-clerical. Is anyone else anti-clerical? Mm. I don't see anyone else. Uh, we have Republican. No one else is Republican. Anti-slavery, that's fine. Uh... Not seeing anything else that would fit, so I think we might be a bit stuck. Uh, yeah. Hopefully there is, like, uh, some of the situations here. The Paraguay nation. Okay, we need uh, nationalism. Yeah. Um, institutions. We can get more home affairs. Um, what do you give me? Safe construction efficient. We kind of do want to keep that. So I think... Um, so we look at you, struggling. Uh, the most expensive for you is clothes and furniture. So I think like part of our, our industrialization, right? Is, okay, we have tooling and arms. I mean, I guess that works. But we should have plenty... Oh, yeah, we have plantation and we have livestock and we can build dye. So if we go to market and we we produce a surplus of fabric. And I think like we'll, what we'll do is we'll build even more, we'll build a dye factory. So we'll do here. So we'll start with we'll start with clothes build that here and then re uh, agriculture wise we want dye we'll do that here and that should be a good start right um we are actually earning pretty decent so i might actually want to go uh are you on the political maybe yeah, construction sector first uh, and we'll move you to oh no i didn't want on positive we'll move you to the top uh, um... yeah, yeah so first things first we gotta fix we gotta fix the situation here the rich have it really well the lower strata has it really bad uh, so we kind of have a revolution on our hands if things don't get fixed. Which does imply to me I kind of want to start moving towards you. And there we go. Let's see where we get. Mm -hmm. The age. Okay, here we go. The Age of Caudillos. Following the Paraguayan independence from Spain, a power vacuum was left in the uh, in place of the colonial government, which was quickly filled by charismatic armed forces leader. These Caudillos have come to define much of South American politics. Uh, that's a, uh, that's I the Supreme. Uh, I the Supreme. Uh, triggers. The event a meeting in Ocean. Oh, I lose that one. 
this will complete if he stops being the ruler. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Ooh, whoa, whoa, you're progressing. Uh, the last code he lost, if completed, uh, will complete if. Ooh. It, uh, I lose that one, uh, which moves people into uh, armed forces, or I can get this permanently and just make my country permanently stuck with the Age of Cardillos. Honestly, it could be kind of nice. I mean, we're gonna, like, we're gonna need, in order to fight, like, Brazil and Bolivia and so on around us, we are gonna need a lot, and Argentina, we are gonna need a lot of troops. So keeping them in power could actually be... Okay, what does... Uh... But yeah, Intelligentsia and Armed Forces are not going to go hand in hand. Despotic Utopian. This character believes in a society influenced by the principles of the Enlightenment, but where the autocratic government acts in the best interest of the people. A bit of paternalism? And who are you? Heir apparent, Intelligentsia, Despotic. He's the same. Is disliked, meticulous. Oh, and he's arrogant. Well, like if we, if he, can I, can I make someone else my heir apparent? Can I like do? No, I can't exile him. I mean, I could... If we switch you out... No. No, I don't think there's anything I can do with armed forces. I think we'll have to stay like that. Oh, actually, let's... Uh, I mean, we can probably still get a large army, even if we don't make them uh, dominant. Right, and we have authority to go through. Let's do that. Uh, well, we want to encourage that. We... What do I even have here? Oh, lumber. Yes, uh, that's important. Mm, don't think we're going to get anyone wanting to move here. Uh, we can do road maintenance. What do you have? Night one time. We're in excess, so fine. I think I'm gonna want to do that. Uh, but can can I here? No, I guess we do it... Wait. Right, you build it through the military interface now. Uh, we want cannons. I can't have more than that because we have... What, what law? National Militia. Sucks. Is there any other way to increase the amount of barracks? I mean, I can build here. Uh, how many... 
but I, here I want to like uh, harvest and so on. Uh, this is part of this. So I'm gonna incorporate you. Mm, oh yeah, we can do emergency relief, can't we? Oh no, we don't have a no welfare payment, so that doesn't matter. Alright, uh, let's go back. Okay, things are going up here. Uh, oh, the fall of Salaveri. The defeat of Philip Salaveri coup attempt has led to complete consolidator, consolidation of Bolivian domination over Peru. Supreme Protector Andres de Santa Cruz has declared the imminent formation of a confederation between the two nations. The confederation must disappear forever. I get more maneuvers for diplomatic play and more conscriptable battalions. Is yet potential for fruitful par partnership makes them like me. Uh, I mean, I would rather have more conscriptable battalions. How many can I? If we go here, uh, I can have nine. Uh, so let's do that. And then we can probably not enough qualifications. Yeah, there's only 7k available there. Not enough infrastructure. Um... Uh, Marriage relief seems to work without welfare payments active. Oh, okay. Hello, Debbie. No, I don't use it often. Like, I don't think I've used it uh, even once. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, I'm guessing the only way for me to actually change laws is if this guy dies. He is not that old. I don't like this person though. Disliked. This guy's liked. Like tax avoidance. Uh okay. The Peru Bolivian Confederacy is a greater European descended population, untapped resources and strategic positions, solidified Peru Bolivian Confederacy presents an existential threat to Baraguayan national interest. Or preserve the balance of power, the confederation must be either made amicable to our state or dismantled by force. At least one of these, Bolivia, does not exist or has lost all of its South Andean Cochea subjects. All of these relations between Bolivia and Paraguay is greater than. I mean, um, maybe I can get Brazil on my side. Like, we're just gonna go... Isn't this also, like, how most people... Like, was, wasn't it, like, half of all men in Paraguay died or something fighting Bolivia? Mm. Who else? Let's see. Uh, New Granada. Uh, who doesn't like you? Yeah, Brazil. Rivalry. Cool. Maybe she... What do you even have? Ten. Two. Your military junta. Let's see. I have plenty of uh, dip. Uh, in real life, he died four years in. Oh, okay. Uh, I don't think Barracks takes an aim for... They do, but I think it's like a tenth. Like a tenth uh, is one, or it was five is one. It's something like that. So it's not a lot. But I don't want Barracks here anyway. My, my problem to figure out is how to get Barracks out of this. Um... 
like more barracks without changing my laws. Which I think the only way for me would be secret police? No, national guard here. I'm not gonna be able to get that. Wait. The trade unions and rural folks support secret police? Oh no, there's a national militia. I'm looking at the wrong thing. Here. Intelligentsia uh, supports. I guess it's because of the the leader. Um. Yeah. <sighs> because I can't, I can't fight Bolivia with only that, and I need to colonize this. Can I? They're decentralized. I can only colonize it, can I? Yeah. And if we have a look at uh, Argentina, they have six plus six. I have five plus nine. Uh, Bolivia has 12 plus two. Well, we're not gonna enable votes. So that's, that will not happen. Uh, this might be something we can do. How long are you gonna take? Okay, so we have aristocrats actually investing. That's something. And in cotton plantation is A-OK. -okay. I mean, we are we're anti-clerical, right? So it would be this if you want. Uh, ah, we don't have enough iron, do we? Signed a peace agreement. Okay, yeah. So yeah, we clearly want to see if we can make uh, Brazil like a ally. Minus 61. Yeah, we should be able to do something here. Rio Grande's Republic. Does Argentina have line infantry? Uh, is there an easy way for me to see that? I guess maybe... Um, where Where's their capital? Here, right? Buenos Aires? They have... Yeah, they do. They do have line infantry. So, I'm thinking... Let's see. Uh, what do I actually have? I have also line infantry. But I like my my I'm a bit worried I have no cannons. Um But if if I can get Brazil on my side uh for this, then that would be enough. Mm. And we are, ooh, we're making the richer richer. <laughs> That's not great. Ooh, we need uh, more wood. France is bankrolling us. 
Okay, why would France be bankrupt? And I actually... Uh, I mean, I'm not gonna complain for money. Like, I don't know what they would want in an obligation with us. Are Brazil their rival or something? No, with Netherlands, with Bolivia and Argentina. No. Mm. Alright, let's get a little bit more logging camps. Uh, oh, why can't sufficient resource quantity oh there's only literally one oh that sucks uh yeah we don't need hardwood i think or i do well what is using hardwood locations it is being used oh for muskets okay They're fixed. Um, so I guess we can build it here. Um, wait, so the bonus we get here is. Oh, yeah, okay, that is more hardwood, so we want to keep that. You should struggle so much with buildings that produce not one type of goods. Yeah, I mean, for me now is like I need to get more wood, I guess. Um, do you require dye for the start? That's just fabric. As if I'm gonna do luxury. No, then I need silk. Uh, yes, dye workshops require dye. So I don't need dye right now. So we can push up logging first. Um, I've seen America be able to do a bunch of wars with natives. Guessing I can't either. Or that I can't for some reason. But they have they have something special. Because I can't establish a colony because I don't have co colonial affairs. Mm -hmm. So like what I can do is demand liberate country on Bolivia. But I can't do that alone. I'm gonna need someone with me. And I can't do trade to push up uh, them liking me. Oh, the conflicts happen after colonization. Okay. You've got to day one attack Brazil when they're in civil war. I'm pretty sure while they're in still civil war, I can't beat this. No matter how much I try. <laughs> Just a random chance for what I want to talk. Ah, oh, okay, yeah. So I kind of need, I kind of need this guy to die. Um... In fact, the decentral nation pushing the back seems a little bugged right now since they're almost always zero to it. Oh, okay. Uh, Capital is investing into a logging camp. That is good, even if I'm building one. Thanks for even more bankrolling, I guess. Oh, now I'm really like now I'm really like uh, North Korea, just relying on um, on uh, the goodwill of other countries. <laughs> Mm. 
I'm out of the colonization needs a rework at some point. It feels really bad to rely on RNG for how fast you can colonize. I mean, colonization is oh RNG as in oh if they declare war, you can colonize faster, basically because you conquer them. Yeah, I I feel like if you're fighting them, you can't just suddenly fill the land with your population, right? So it's kind of weird. Um, uh, it should probably rather be that you cordon off land that you can colonize faster for a while in a certain section because you make a treaty with the uh, natives. There we go. If your guy dies and army takes over, you will lose Gutani primary culture, but as long as you have it, they won't ever rebel, so I recommend colonizing them. Uh -huh. Uh, yeah, this, uh, yeah, 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 I do, I do want to colonize it, but I have no way to change this. Um, armed forces do endorse it, but I'm always going to have the minus 40%. I need plus 40%. So if we go here, frontier colonization is what I would need. Uh, rural folk and armed forces are endorsing this. So let's, let's slow down here. Uh, if we go to my government, uh, reform government, I can have, ooh, oh, we can have a little bit, okay, so we can have rural folk here, so let's actually, uh, let's, uh, bolster you, we have the authority, screw it, uh, we can't, we can't use the enactment time anyway, so we do this, uh, and we ask to make this government, Uh, confirm. We're still not going to be able to make any laws. The cost minus forty percent. I would need to put together a government that goes over that forty percent. That forty percent is rough. It would have been more balanced, I feel like, if it was twenty percent, because then it's like it's still hard, right? You still need to put together a decent government to make it happen. But uh, you can change laws, but then you only have like one or two percent chance of it ever succeeding. Enact techno te technocracy. Uh, the nation is governed by an unelected council of men of reason and ability. Huh. Um. Maybe. I would not be opposed to that. I mean, we wouldn't be an autocracy anymore, but close enough. That would be fun. Technocracy is good because it makes intelligentsia strong. Yeah, I figure. What is that for minus 40% debuff? What the fuck? Yeah, it's, 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 uh, no, not that one. This one. It, it's, it's the starting condition of Paraguay. It's, you have it until this, this uh, guy dies. Uh, and like, w which is fine, he should die fairly soon, he's 71 already. The problem is, I'm kinda like, I can't do anything to prepare myself to fight Bolivia during this time. I get a two year modifier, he's not gonna die in two years. Um, so yeah. Technocracy sounds badass. Yeah, we can make that a goal. What do, do we need to do for the supreme mission? Uh, this, uh, he needs to die or become not the ruler. So we could also probably go through like a revolution or something. Uh, I mean, we have five plus nine, we have 14. He has 14 plus two. Uh, yeah. Let's have a look here. So he, the first Bolivian army uh 13 regular battalions he has one cavalry 12 minus 3 and one cavalry so and here he has one infantry so i could maybe defeat him alone if i like boost things enough can i abdicate I don't know where I would be doing the abdication. Decisions, maybe? Mm, no.
Mm. Oh, I can't have decay. Also, check if those troops are line infantry. Good point. Bolivia's capital is here. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. They are. So, I mean, if they were lower, I could definitely win. They might have a big problem actually supplying their troops, though. Mm. Because my problem is, I, I, this one is only lasting 16 more months. I, so... I don't like this hard limit. I could temporarily build up an army here, right? So we go to military here. Uh, we want, what do we want? Cannons do higher kill rate. And this gives battle occupation. Uh, we could do this, I'm thinking. Uh, since uh, capitalists are building logs, let's do it like this. And uh, then we do promote social mobility here. That should be enough. Uh, because, yeah, we have 7k with job seekers, but most won't be able to take those jobs. Mm. Do I have racial segregation, maybe? Uh, yes, I do. But this shouldn't affect who will be in the army, right? Let's see. Who do I have here? Durrani and Platinian. Uh, can reform the government, kick his IG out of power, then exile him? Uh, mm, uh, not long bought this game. What's the best tip you can give me? Get rid of the landowners. Immediately. What, it doesn't matter what country you are, the landowners are the worst. That's just it. That's just a general tip to life. You know, um, uh, landlords, fuck them. <laughs> Just generally, I mean, not even it's not only the socialists. What, what is it? Um, uh, Adam Adam Smith, who says like the 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 only like you know, like the blight on the economy is the landowners or something. How do you get rid of it? Uh, there's a bunch of ways, right? You can um, uh, suppress them like this, uh, which takes a long time. But they will also get a bunch of their clout from uh, laws, right? So, for instance, landowners, uh, you can have a law. Oh, well, here, tenant farmers, right? So tenant farmers is just a step better than serfdom. And if you don't know what serfdom is, it's basically medieval time where the landowners own. It's slavery, but not slavery. Uh, kind of like um, organization of the economy. Tenant farmers is where landowners rent out like uh, housing for people to work their farms basically serfdom is slavery with extra steps it's slavery you're not property but you treat it like property i think that's a good way to describe it and this was his his uh, historical loss with groovy <laughs> Okay, we are getting that better. 